Hey there YouTube Flaming Creations, you're back with another video, and today, as you see before you, I have a Part 6 Basement Glove Set for Ravina. So I'm just gonna kinda go through each of the gloves individually, starting from left to right. So, uh, these are also all names that I've kinda dubbed them, for simplicity, they don't have official names, but uh... First off is the Bear Claw Glove, and the glove that I actually hate the most to make out of these. <laughs> uh, just due to the fact that wrapping all this copper wire around the nails is not fun. Also, I should say that there are no palm shots really for any of these, so I don't put holes in them. Uh, if there are holes, I don't know if there are or were even. <laughs> And I don't know if there's like ringlets or anything, so literally a lot of these are just super glued onto the leather, because I have no idea what they look like, so. Unless a better reference comes out for these, this is what I do, so. A bear claw glove. Uh, the index finger is really messed up and bent. I mean, the actual one is way even more, like, dented and everything, but that's pretty much what I do. And the rest seem to be pretty plain. Before, I used to use some, like, talon-type thing for the claws. Uh, this time I tried using nails that I just bent, and I actually think I'm gonna be using the nails going forward for this particular glove, so... Useless backplate. <laughs> yeah, tips are just glued on there. Also, taking off these gloves is kind of interesting, because I don't want to, like break the tips off since they're just glued on so uh yeah now on to probably my favorite of the gloves is the nail knuckles glove almost like brass knuckles but with nails <laughs> uh added blood effect on there and such um yeah <laughs> These gloves are pretty plain, so. Also, some of that pink stuff that you see on there is a uh, glue residue. It's, I tried to cover some of it up with, like, red blood effect, so. I should say that these are all on uh, large leathers, but um, uh, they're kind of made to fit. Um, like, I have a medium-sized hand, so just be careful putting these on and taking them off. Okay, now on to the most ridiculous glove. I get a lot of shit for this one, but it's the uh, clothespins glove. Why Freddy made this, I have no idea, but it was literally seen in the film. Maybe just to test out what it was like having extensions on your fingers. Probably absolutely got no use. Also, what sucks is that the leather I use for this is the most expensive leather out of all of these gloves. Like, a lot of these gloves, for the majority of the ones that have, like, the brown hems on them and such... Uh, the, those all cost around, like, $8 per lever, or leather. This one costs, like, 20 so pisses me off. All right, on to a ridiculous, uh, not-so-functional glove. Um, this is the box cutter tape glove. Uh, what this glove actually reminds me of is uh, in Part 2, where Freddy has, like, the knives coming out of his actual hand. That's what it kind of reminds me of with this. So. Again, it has a blood effect on the tape and such. So, I actually don't use real box cutters on these. I actually used uh, icing spatulas that I ground down to shape like box cutters and everything. So, uh, yeah, since I cannot find box cutters that don't have like the little breakage lines on them that are like the snap-off kind, so... It looks like in the film, even though you don't get a clear shot of them, it looks like they don't have lines on them, so. But this is a very flimsy glove, just, it's like cloth or something like that, elastic cloth. 
So it's like, the blades will just do their own thing, kind of, unless you have your fingertips. Or, like, there, there's little metal inserts on the inside that my fingertips are up against that gives it a little bit of control, but... Like, sometimes the blades will just randomly turn sideways. Yeah, that's the box cutter tape glove. You can wear these if you want, just be careful with them. Now the glove that has literally uh, only one reference photo for it. <laughs> you can't even see what it looks like, really. Uh, the fish hooks glove. Uh, all I know is that it has fish hooks on it. <laughs> Don't know what co color the leather is because of it was kind of silhouetted. It has fish hooks on it. Kind of like the bear claw glove, but I don't know. But these are real fish hooks. Be careful with them. I already poked myself once during a live stream making this particular glove, so. Alright, um. Now on to the razor blades glove. Well, oh, here I go, hitting my display case. Uh, real razor blades, so be careful. <laughs> Again, these are just glued onto the tips. I always wonder, for the people who get the basement globe set, it's like, do they plan to make, like, a display for these? Just, like, kind of all lined up like they were in the film? Or do they actually plan to, like, wear these regularly? I have no idea, since these are really awkward prototype gloves. But anyways, real razor blades. No reference to if there was anything on the back plate or, or a useless back plate or not, but there's a razor blades glove. Those are actually JB welded on. These blades on the uh, butter knives glove, which I believe is probably like the last precursor before he made an actual glove continuity wise. I don't know. Anyways, these blades are soldered and then I just added JB weld over it just because of it kind of looked like there was JB weld. Another thing, too, is the backplate on this, on the actual screen-used-look glove. Uh, there isn't a full shot of it, but it actually looks like that backplate's literally just glued on. Um, I added rivets to this. Uh, might go back through the film and see if there's a better shot of it, but in the actual film, it looks like it's literally just plastered and glued onto the back of the leather, so... This would probably also maybe be one of my favorites. Uh... Along with the nail knuckles glove, so. Interesting to have the blades further down on your hand and still be able to stab people. Don't be stabbing people with these, though. Also, there's an air bubble on the ring finger. JB, well, that, I just noticed that, so. Yeah, butter knives glove. Alright, so those are the basement gloves. Um... Technically, in the film, you also see the Part 6 Hero in there, too, but I offer the Part 6 Hero separately. Um, also, you know, because apparently there are some people into this, uh, just as a heads up, I did increase the price for these because of... Uh, someone actually made a good point to me that the fact that even those are these are, like, really simplistic gloves to make... Uh, about the time that goes into it equates to about what would go into just one normal glove. Uh, so I increased the price of it, uh, $20. Originally it was $145, now it's up to $165. There's a chance I might increase it again up to $185 just to make it more like, you know, you're getting seven gloves, but the time that goes into it equates to about one glove, so... Uh, might increase that price. Yeah, I'm still not sure if I'm going to do that or not. Uh, anyways, yeah, uh, there are your basement gloves, Ravina. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.